Hi, in this video, we are going to see about how to install Python 3.10.9. Before seeing the installation, I will tell you about few things. So, when you are running a Python project which is developed in the particular version but you are using a different version, there may be errors or conflict in executing the project because they would have used different library files in it. So, when you are running a project, so check which version of the Python it has been used. So, install the exact version of the Python or the library is required for it. So, there will not be any problem in it. So, now let us see. First, check your system whether you have already installed Python or not. So, first go to your command prompt and type Python space iPhone iPhone hyphen version and click enter. So, now you can see Python 3.8.0 is already installed in my system. So, when I am running a project which the project has been developed in 3.10, so there may be some conflict. So, first I need to uninstall this Python 3.8 and then install the required version that is Python 3.10. So, first thing is like go to your control panel and go to uninstall a program and select the python 3.8 version which i wanted to uninstall so the installation is in progress so now you can see the message uninstall was successful thank you for using python 3.8 so now let us close this so now Python is uninstalled successfully. So now you can check by typing the same that is Python space hyphen hyphen version and click enter. And now you can see Python was not found message. So the Python is uninstalled successfully. In some cases, even after uninstalling, there may be some files available in the installation location. So if you go to the location, so in my system, the uh, Python has been installed in C program users the account name jp infotech and app data and local and in programs you can see see here even i have uninstalled python you can see the python folder and python 3.8 few files have not been installed so if you are leaving this uh, there may be some conflict so let better we can delete this file okay So now it is completely removing what all the libraries that we have installed everything is being removing completely from the folder itself. So this is not being done while we are uninstalling the python from the control panel. So you need to do it this manually. So sometimes you could not find this app data in your system which means that it is in hidden format. So let's go to the view option. So you can see now app data is not available. So some because it may be, it, it will be in the hidden items only. So just go to the view and just select hidden items. So you can find the app data folder. So after that going into that local and programs you can find the python there. So now it is completely uninstalled. Now let us see how to install the python 3.10.9. So just you can go to this page python.org downloads release python 3.10.9 or I will give you a media file link where you can download that only the required file. So now in this page you can find the windows installer 32 bit or 64 bit. So check whether which which is your bit system so in case if you don't know that if you go to the my computer if this pc and just click properties so here you can find what is the uh, bit of your operating system so here you can see that is 64 bit so in this way you can find in case if you don't know what is your bit so now i'll just click this windows installer 64 bit so now let me download in that desktop so now it is downloaded which is around 27.6 MB now double click it and now it asks for the 
install python 3.10.964 bit and kindly note that just uh, click this check button add python.exe to path in case if you are not giving this so you need to add that path manually in the environmental variable so to avoid that confusion just click this check box so don't forget to do this one now after checking this check button just click install now so now give yes and now you can see the setup is in progress and it is installing the required files it takes few seconds or few minutes according to your system configuration kindly wait for that so now you can see the message setup was successful and now you can close this now let me go to the command prompt again and now type the same command python space hyphen hyphen version and click enter and now you can see python 3.10.9 is installed successfully and this is all about the installation of python 3.10.9 and thank you for watching